Hello everyone, I am Vanessa Nguyen and I am an incoming senior majoring in psychology. I just finished two summer courses, so today I would like to show you what a day in my life is like as an international student taking summer classes in my home country. So let's get started. I am from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and my favorite first thing to do in the morning is to open up my curtains and look at this beautiful view. Then I make my bed because it helps me gain a sense of organization as I start my day. My dad comes home at lunchtime and we usually have lunch together. I help him set the table with bowls and silverware, putting foods into plates, etc. And we just be talking about random things. And there we have it. Today we're having stir-fried zucchini with garlic, fermented cabbage, vegetable soup with shrimp, some stew fish braised chicken, and of course, rice. After we eat, I'm usually the one to clean up and do the dishes. In Vietnam, people don't really use dishwashers, so I'd always wash the dishes by hand. In case you're wondering, my dad's currently sitting on a massaging chair, staring at the beautiful view, living his best life, and then he'll for sure take a nap. After the kitchen is nice and clean, I write up a to-do list with homework assignments and tasks for the clubs that I'm involved in to help keep me on track. The order of this list is priority based so I can complete the time sensitive or very important tasks first. Creating a to-do list keeps my motivation going as I find the act of checking things off as you go is very rewarding and satisfying at the same time. At this point, I am drafting a recruitment invitation email for MSU's Vietnamese Culture Union, of which I am the vice president. I've learned to compose professional but friendly sounding emails throughout my involvement with VCU, which has definitely helped me tremendously as a college student. So I highly recommend joining at least one student organization when you're in college. VCU tasks checked. I spend about 30 minutes or more on my lovely piano and singing my little heart out. Music makes my day better as it does to all other things. I believe in taking breaks from brain work to equally nourish my other hobbies. Balance is the key to not burning out since it's not all about academic development. It's also about personal development, meaning what you actually enjoy doing. some of my singing. I know I'm not the best, but I guess I'm all right. Then I get ready to work out. I usually go to the gym, but since I don't have much time today, I'm doing some of my favorite exercises at home. I like squats, push-ups, all the planks, donkey kicks, leg lifts, Russian twists, and of course, we do have stretching in the end. I know for a fact that exercising improves one's mood and immune strength, so I do try to work out one way or another at least for an hour every day. And I think even though you're not the most athletic person ever, moving your body around is very beneficial, not just for your muscles, but also for your health and brain function. We had a family photo shoot the other day, and now I'm picking and choosing which ones I like the most out of over a hundred of them. It took me quite a while. And I just wanted to show you how amazingly gorgeous this is. You can see how it's raining in one spot from farther away, and I guess we're getting some rain today. Here in Ho Chi Minh City, we have two seasons, dry and rainy. You can probably guess which one we're in right now and see how the rain is moving from one area to another. It is beautiful. 
Then I get back to work. I'm buying slash downloading slash renting the required materials and textbooks for my next three courses for the second summer session. I'm excited to go to Greece, but not to spend so much money, nor to read this 43-page syllabus. Check and check. I currently am looking at the D2L pages of my new courses while downloading and organizing the course's documents to my computer. I finished and submitted a 1400 word essay, sent some work related emails, and looked at some job opportunities. Just notice how the sky changes color. It took me three hours. You see why self care is necessary? Mentioning self care, I just published a blog on time and energy management on Unibuddy. You should check it out. Since I've worked hard, I'm going to reward myself with a girls' night out with my cousins. I also want to show you how pretty the city is from the ground too, and I'm using the Grab Bike service, which is essentially the Vietnamese version of Uber and on a motorbike or a moped. It only cost me a little over a dollar for a 15 minute drive. Here we have some of my favorite street foods, fish cakes, and all the yummy deep fried things that I miss so much. And we were literally sitting on a sidewalk of an alley next to a supermarket. And this bridge right here is brand new, so you can still see lots of people parked on the side of the bridge to hang out or to take pictures of the beautiful river scenery. Since Ho Chi Minh City is the most populated and developed city of the country, regardless of what time of the day it is, someone's always out doing things. It's also known for skyscrapers and tall fancy apartment buildings, and villas that are worth up to millions of dollars. And yay, I made it home safely, although it's currently 11.30 p.m. Okay, we're walking inside my apartment building. Beat fella. Pressing the elevator button, and there's the elevator. And up we go. After I got home, I received an email to schedule an interview for an internship position that I'd applied to a couple of months ago. I'm very excited and also nervous at the same time. And now it's time to take my final exam for my cognitive psychology class, which I didn't do too bad on. Yay, it's been an awesome and productive day. Now I am off to bed. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you guys all the best.